The Biden administration has announced the first 10 drugs subject to Medicare price negotiations. The list includes diabetes and heart medications, as well as drugs for preventing blood clots. The move is expected to cut costs for patients in a couple of years. In a speech today, President Biden said the program is a, quote, long time coming. For more on this, senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe joins us now. Hey, Ed, good to see you. Good to see you, Nancy. So, you know, people who don't take these drugs might still recognize some of the names from all the ads. We're talking about Eliquis and Xarelto and Enbrel and Stellara. Give us some insight into how these particular 10 drugs were chosen. Right. Well, remember, this is all an outgrowth of the Inflation Reduction Act that was passed last year. And in essence, it, it now allows Medicare over the next several years to announce plans to negotiate for lower drug prices with the manufacturers. This is the first tranche of them, as you said, popular medications that people probably know best from television, but are also quite helpful and essential for people with diabetes, certain heart diseases, certain cancers. The, cr the criteria essentially says that uh, the drugs that ultimately will be negotiated over, the ones that are costing Medicare the most, um, have been on the market for years, don't necessarily face competition from rivals, so they may be the only one available in essence. And there will be others announced at some point next year. What's interesting here, though, is that while they will announce the new prices roughly this time next year, maybe in the fall of 24, right before the elections, the actual change in price won't kick in until 2026. And you might sit there and go, why so long? Well, it's going to take a little while to negotiate this, first of all. Second, the companies have to adjust. But the hope White House official signal today is that once Medicare announces the new prices, maybe all the private insurers will go, well, OK, we'll bring down our price, too. And so market forces will essentially force this to happen a lot sooner, which is what the Inflation Reduction Act was hoping to do uh, by getting this language put in there. And we know that some of these pharmaceutical companies are, are, are being dragged along kicking and screaming and have already uh, filed lawsuits to try to prevent uh, these negotiations from happening. But how does uh, President Biden convince Americans on the campaign trail that this is a big deal when, as you pointed out, these price cuts don't actually kick in until well after the 2024 election in 2026? This, yeah, this is one of the big assumptions and, and real risks that this White House is taking between now and Election Day 2024, because not only is there inability to see or enjoy the potential savings when it comes to your medicine, there's no ability to necessarily yet to see or enjoy the infrastructure changes that have happened in communities across the country because the projects are still just getting started. Uh, maybe the electric vehicles are still a theory for many people, but not necessarily being used, or the charging stations that are being put in place by the legislation passed in recent years aren't there yet. So he's gambling that over the next year, once people start thinking more about the elections and once this money starts getting spent, he can turn and say, hey, did you notice that? Did you notice this? Did you know that, you know, grandma or your uncle who depends on this medication is going to see those uh, cost savings? That's because of the work we did. Keep us in power and we'll make sure that all of these things continue to get implemented and we can do even more. But you're right. It, it's going to take a while. And it's part of the reason why this White House believes ultimately his numbers will improve as people start to see the real world savings uh, that won't kick in still for several years. Well, uh, you know, no matter what, it is a, a major development that uh, Medicare will now for the first time be able to negotiate these drug prices. Probably a lot of Americans out there scratching their heads wondering why this wasn't happening already. Ed O'Keefe uh, at the White House, thanks so much. Take care.